Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking test comparison between Huawei Mate 9 and HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo smartphones. We will be doing few tests right here in front of you and we have already performed few of these benchmarking tests to save your time. Huawei Mate 9 comes with 4GB of RAM, Kirin 960 octopper processor, Mali G71 GPU and Android 7.0 OS and HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo it comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor, 3GB of RAM, uh, Adreno 430 GPU and Android 7.0 OS as well. So let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute in this benchmarking test of these two devices. And uh, the benchmarking applications that we got today here are Android Benchmarking, Geekbench 4, Basemark OS 2, Basemark X and Quadrant Standard. So let's start our benchmarking test now and let's see that which device is better in terms of benchmarking score here. So here we go. So let's start with the Android benchmarking which is one of the most uh, popular benchmarking application, benchmarking test. So here we go. So you can see the result of these two devices here. Huawei Mate 9 scored 128,244 and HTC Bolt scored only 83,004 so you can see that there is huge difference in terms of uh, benchmarking score between these two devices and uh, it's basically happening because of the better hardware specs of Huawei Mate 9 it comes with Kree 960 processor that is obviously better than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 that's an old processor the amount of RAM is more in Huawei Mate 9 and also the GPU is uh, better than the Adreno 430. So we can see that the better hardware specs of Huawei Mate 9 is contributing in the Android benchmarking test and the score and because of that it is the winner in this benchmarking test. So let's go back and let's have a look on our another benchmarking test and that's going to be Basemark OS 2. We have already performed this test here as well so let's have a look on these scores directly so for Huawei Mate 9 it's 2936 it's nearly equal to 3000 we can say and for HTC Bolt it's 1772 so once again in this test the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and if you have a look on the individual scores for system memory graphics and web you can see that for system the winner is Huawei Mate 9 for memory as well for graphics as well even though the difference is not much and once again for web the score is uh, uh, not too high of Huawei Mate 9 with respect to HTC Bolt but still in all these four tests the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and because of that the overall score is better as well of Huawei Mate 9 here. So in this test as well the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and now let's do our third test and that's going to be Basemark X. It is a gaming benchmarking test. So in this test the performance of GPU is really important. We have already performed this test as well. So Let's have a look on these scores and uh, for HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo it is 38,880 and for Huawei Mate 9 it is 44,182 so even though the difference is not so much but once again the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and the credit goes to the better GPU of the device it comes with Mali G71 GPU and uh, HTC Bolt comes with 
Adreno 430. So there is slight difference in terms of performance and that's why the winner is Huawei Mate 9 in this gaming benchmarking test. So we are having two tests remaining here. The next one is Geekbench 4. We have already performed this test as well. So let's have a look on the scores directly. We are having two types of tests here CPU and compute. So here is the score for CPU. There is two score, as you can see, there are two scores for single core and multi core. So for the single core, it's 1946 and Multicore, core it is 6314 in our Huawei Mate 9 on the left hand side on HTC Bolt for single core it is 973 and for multi core it is 2297 only so you can see that for single core Huawei Mate 9 scored twice of HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo and for multi-core it is nearly three times HTC Bolt scored 2297 and Huawei Mate 9 scored 6314 so you can see that even in this test the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and the difference is huge two times and three times uh, with respect to each other and if you go to the compute tab here you can have a look on these scores once again so for Huawei Mate 9 it is 3413 and for HTC Bolt it is 2740 so this time the difference is not so huge uh, like the CPU test but still once again the winner is Huawei Mate 9 so in all these four tests the winner is Huawei Mate 9 with respect to HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo and the last test for today is quadrant standard and we will do this test right here in front of you so here we go and once the test is finished we will have a look on these scores and we will see that which device is scoring more with respect to another one So the test is finished and let's have a look on these scores for Huawei Mate 9 it is 40,169 and for HTC Bolt here it is 11,136 only so you can see that once again the difference is huge in terms of scores and once again the winner is Huawei Mate 9 so we can see that the better hardware specs of Huawei Mate 9 is contributing so much in all these benchmarking tests and because of that the performance of Huawei Mate 9 is much much better than the HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo smartphone but both of these two devices they are so great and in real life performance HTC Bolt is also a very great device if we just uh, uh, do not consider the benchmarking scores only but still if we are talking about the benchmarking test and scores the winner is Huawei Mate 9 and the credit goes to the better hardware specs of the device so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this and you can also get in touch with me on Twitter and Instagram and on Facebook by clicking on the links given in the description of this video so I'll see you next time in the next video. Have a nice day.